No more. Hi everybody, it's Tai Chi Ling back with another episode of Dream Daddy. She tried to bite my hand! No, I didn't. She did! She's lying! Because he's trying to punch me in the nose. I was trying to clear up her nose. That's not gonna help. It will! Especially if she let me, but she bit my hand. And anyway, we're at the mall after a very awkward conversation. <laughs> I'm we arrive sighing. at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's I'm glad that he described what a mall was. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> it's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Oh, I thought it was Let's eat something mall. disgusting for dinner, yeah. Yes. Who goes to Hell the mall yeah. for dinner? Who? What was the other option? All I saw was go to the mall. Cook at home. Oh. I would have Language, me. Missy. Heck yeah. It's better. Hell isn't really a bad one. Mm. Come on! <laughs> we approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here, would you? I mean, that, that sounds legitimate. What are you in the mood for? Bread, dipper in, bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I want that one. I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. I agree. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Good. Please, explain memes to me. Oh, good. Now you get a sign. <sighs> Which meme? The one with the cat! <laughs> all, all memes. <sighs> Amanda sighs deep. She already sighed deeply, so... Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Aww. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. The, so the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have already done the joke to death. Ugh. Good old youths. And what's worse than that is that movies and TVs and video games will try to jump in on a meme train. But just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and isn't funny. They're all funny. When you're old. Oh shit, what up? Really? <laughs> oh shit, what up? Ugh. Dad, please. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. He's gonna turn into Pepe now. Some stupid. No. I threw a key on the table. <laughs> That's that boy. Oh yeah. Where <laughs> went to now? That boy. Wanna... I'm older than you. How do I know this shit? Wanna go to that golf store? You're obviously on the internet more than I am. <laughs> What? You, were gonna gop the you know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment? Hot topic? But we can't, can't use hot topic. Say that. I don't know what story you're talking about. Good thing we're not sponsored by Hot Topic. <laughs> hot Topic. Ow. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. Yep, we couldn't just say a name. We, wanna, we couldn't come we up with a name. around that way too much. You couldn't come up with, like, a fake name. <laughs> Cut up with, like, like Tot Hopic or yeah, something. <laughs> yeah, Tot Hopic. Yep, I want to go to Tot Hopic. <laughs> Top Gothic. <laughs> Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. Yes. There it is. You can still kind you can st still see the outline kinda. She can't read or she can't talk either. I'm so I have odd proud. problems. Shut up. Speech. Amanda. Yeah. Speech, 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 speech. 
All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Confused. Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment. A historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Smith had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond... <laughs> Good. <laughs> to buy a rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. How can they say that but not like a hot topic? I guess band names don't matter, uh, but like brand names do? I don't know. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our positions. Thank you. Amanda is moved. She begins clapping at first. Er, clapping. Slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their head. One of them also starts clapping. For like, <laughs> not sure why. I bow my head. Oh, hey, chain wallets. Good. While Amanda busies herself looking she at band t-shirts. She said chain wallets, not band t-shirts. <laughs> I try to find something to interest myself. Interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in Dead Goth and Beyond. Wasn't he a ska artist? I'm sure they've got some like. Like my mighty mighty boss tones. Tease. Let's look at some ironic mugs. I'm suddenly stricken by existential fear. If there is only one number one dad, then why are there so many mugs here that say that? I've never seen a number one dad mug at yeah, Hot Topic. I mean, the whole time dead, I thought Goth I was the beyond. only one. If I'm not number one, where do I place on the global dad ranking charts? Uh, you I have pull work up the to leaderboards. Do. Look, this is very important to me. I'm going to guess that this is goth dad. Good. Oh, uh, I hope <laughs> I hope we're here a stifled gonna... argument over at the cash Am register. Am I going to turn him into Dracula? He might be. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. I could see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Oh my. Listen, when oh, I bought this oh online, my. the oh website my. said that what? All I heard is, oh my. Said this blouse. <laughs> was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Hmm. Is there a manager present? People here to know what they're buying. I didn't read that right, but <laughs> you get the gist. I am the manager? see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Fucking sailor Good day, shopkeep. Whatever the hell Your superiors <laughs> will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. The man whirls around <sighs> and storms out, his literal coattails <laughs> trailing behind him. I can't tell if they're Victorian-inspired or Edwardian in nature. Hmm. <laughs> Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Hey, Datron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. <laughs> the cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. You were doing a dude's voice for her. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're doing like this. That's what uh, she sounded like. <laughs> okay. That's her voice from now on. If she pops up again, I still have to do that. So what was that guy's deal? <laughs> the cashier rolls her eyes so hard, I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. I don't care. It's still going to be her voice. <laughs> He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag, and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers is on. That's the greatest your, combination of your things. Your favorite, right? I'm, Long Haul Paranormal I'm kind of confused road. as to how that would work out, but sure. <laughs> Oh, hell yes. They have to make it over to the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts. But but they're also hunting ghosts. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Also, the trucks are haunted. It sounds like a pretty good show. I'd watch it. Uh, yeah, I would watch it. I'd watch it. There, this is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Please explain this to Calum. us. Calum. Calum? Is it Callum or Calum? Callum. Callum and Flint Dogbone, mm -hmm. the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh, no. No, the, no, oh. The, no this is Callum. Oh, no. Oh, no. The ghost done got control of the truck. I can't steer on them damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. <laughs> Flynn, we're about to die. I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying, you're going to die. <laughs> That's because we're about to die, you. Oh, this is art. I like it. <laughs> the episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. So they die, obviously. Because if it ended there, they died. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. I didn't expect to have to do southern accents. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Aww. Aww. I can't feel my legs! <laughs> uh, what do you do when you don't have to will determine where he will be when you can't help it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that how you sleep? Yes. <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. Turned into a snake. <laughs> you have never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. Uh, Why don't you cry about it a little bit more? I will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. <laughs> We're able to put together a few shelves in one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. Hey, man. I mean, bookcase. It, it all came out right. So, you excited for the cookout today? Will all the hot dads be there? Oh, yeah, I forgot there was a cookout. It's been a little while since we played this. Isn't that Robert's cookout? I can't remember. <sighs> I can't. I'm excited to beef up my grilling skills, whatever. Uh huh. <laughs> oh no, I didn't even. <laughs> she skipped right over her dialogue. <laughs> whatever. Now we'll never whatever know. Whatever he said. Now we'll never know what <laughs> lame stuff the dad said. <laughs> Just pause it. <laughs> Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? Haven't I already been meeting all the damn people in the neighborhood? I think that's the whole neighborhood. I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. Oh. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get you that butterfly to emerge. We will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. Oh. The social butterfly. Well, we better get started. Our start. We better start getting ready. I'm uh -huh. <laughs> going dyslexic here. We definitely don't want to be late. Uh huh. Oh. What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? People who... Want. You know what? We're going early. Just because you said that. Oh, cool. <laughs> I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Okay. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I can't I see them. It vlogs trying to find all the people. I set our veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. What time? I wait 14 minutes. Oh, okay. You gotta pay attention to that, because I can't see I it. wait to get his <laughs> attention. Ow. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Wow, that was okay. a weird sound. <laughs> Ooh. Welcome. I'm glad Ooh. to see you two are here. And you brought veggies. Oh. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come over here. Kids. Wait, this is Chris, <laughs> my eldest. Kids. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I mean, eh. I mean, <laughs> hi. <laughs> this is Christian and Christy. They're twins. Hey. They stare creepily and say nothing. Good. Good. Huh. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Krish. 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 
It's like my name, only Sherbert. Wait, where's Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh no! Oh wow! <laughs> it's the woman from the bar the other night! What is she doing here? Oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Hey. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Ah, oh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Krish to bed? Huh? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I have to go look for him! Because she's not drunk now, so no. I, I can't do drunk voice. She's not drunk. How obviously. do we know she's not drunk? Because uh, she's not... Uh, she's not drawn drunk, so I... Uh, <laughs> what? You have to... Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. What's happening right She now? doesn't know where their baby is? Oh. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Matt, and his daughter, Amanda. Hmm. I... Uh... I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. I'm a drunk. <laughs> a horrible, horrible drunk. I love her. Nice to uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. <laughs> Mary leaves. Oh, God, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. I'm sure. All those things. It takes all of my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. I'm scratching my eyeball. Ha ha ha! My wife has a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you do enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Haven't I met all the guys? Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> He's trying to pull my legs on top of his legs. Legs! Two uh, many legs! I don't wanna I don't wanna have to make friends. Ugh. Come on, Dad. Who okay. Well who are you going to party who who are you gonna party with when I go off to school? Okay, we'll find out who dad's gonna party with when she goes off to school in the next episode, cause Frog is making little Dajeda's not paying attention to the time. It's cause I'm playing the game. <laughs> but thank you, and hopefully see you in the next episode, and I just lost my key. Uh bye. Bye bye, key!